Welcome back to the radio drama that is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I am your host, Spotty McGoovin. Is that going to pick you up? Or yes, you just... it's picking me up, woman. I don't, Are you know why sure? you're, I don't know why you're sitting here and second guessing me as the host. Well, you second guess me when I had a quiet voice for, for Maya. Yeah, but your voice was also very airy, too, so I, I don't know, okay? But anyway, this is the radio drama of Phoenix, right? And we shall continue where we left off, where Mr. Phoenix was cross-examining Mr. Detective Gumshoe. And we're still lawyers. And we are still lawyers. All right. The best lawyers of all kind. Take it away, Phoenix Wright. <clears throat> wow. Okay, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Wow. Just didn't just, let me read a damn word. They read it. They know wow. what's going on here. What? Miss Mary isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. What? What? Who's pink, dude? I think, I think he nobody. Called, I think Phoenix Wright called her the pink lady, which we would have, which we would have heard if I was allowed to read shit. Continue, please. Well, I, I guess she is pink. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Dot, dot, dot. Yes! Da. Okay. Sorry, I, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. Did you? Did you really? There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. I hate this goddamn vibrating controller. Continue, please. <sighs> Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Okay. Second pass of the testimony. Witness. Testimony, hard evidence. Here we go. Hard evidence. All right. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was clearly written in blood. Written clearly in blood, clearly written, whatever. Lab test results showed the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Or, like, that's not really evidence, because it could have been, like, you know, her just writing her sister's name because she cared about her so much, and she wanted her to, you know, know about her. You know, this case is just really fucked up in all types of ways. But, you know, we'll move on. How are you like that? For my hard evidence that I wasn't able to read because my sister's an expert in I thought you read that part! Do you see why you should be on the controller? Do you get this? No. God. You will learn. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today. Hmm. Go ahead. I, I, hmm. Oh, now I can press a button? <laughs> oh my now I can press the button. Thank you. Before we begin the cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y Your Honor? Why didn't you testify? Oh, shit. Mm. Mm. What happened mm. there? Why didn't you testify mm. about this vital piece of evidence the first time? <laughs> No, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Okay, it's just... Cross-examination! Shoot, we could have did that in the same tone of uh, my Sharona like we did for the review. Oh, my God. Oh, Cross-exam! Wait, no, we can't. Doesn't fit the meter. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, uh... After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Okay. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Okay. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Okay. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Okay. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Okay. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. I didn't say okay. I don't know how to go back. Okay. Hold on one second. Hit X again. Okay. 
That says this is old testimony, so it's okay, gonna make us okay. go. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Where was the contradiction? The, uh, the last statement that he made. Uh, okay, uh, so let me get back there. Going. Going. Labrador as well. Also, blah blah blah. Before she died, right there. Okay. Stop. Now. Present. R one. Find it. Oh. <laughs> uh, go to the autopsy report. Yeah, present that with triangle. Right. Objection! Objection! Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's what he did. That's really what you're saying? Wh what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? Damn, that's a heavy neck roll that right there. Really, Damn. That is really you a it. it. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm, yeah, shit. humans don't do necks like that. That fucked up my throat for a second. Damn. You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. So, immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. Yeah, so it's immediate might, death, so she yeah, wouldn't be able to write the letter. She wouldn't have been yeah. able to write it. So, Detective Gumshoe, do you want to retract that testimony? Yeah, you might have and to. let's do it again. You might have to. She died immediately. But. But no butting your way out of this one, detective. Oh my god, you couldn't come. Oh my yeah, god, just, no just, butting. Just, okay. Just robber, 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 robber. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Wouldn't have had the time. Yeah, I, I, I turn to Myra for a second. The time. Okay. Okay. Objection, <laughs> Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? What is it to you? That's actually a good question. Like, what is it to you? When? Uh, the day after the murder. Yeah, that's what we got. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being? Hmm. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What the fuck? It was right after she... Oh my god, okay. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. You low down prick. He's a little low down prick. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Okay, that still doesn't- Almost is doing a lot of work in that sentence. I was right about now. to say, almost really That's, is. That However, almost is doing some heavy lifting. However. How we ever. That just makes, okay. Almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object means- It's just that almost. It's, it's the almost. That's you, all, that's she all still that doesn't matters. have time to write Maya. But like- Or the wherewithal. Just, just continue, just continue. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. To write Maya? Yeah, apparently. It's apparently. Yeah. I received these results this morning. No way. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have the time to write Maya. I thank you. That is all. Dude. Dude, we're not in theater. We're in court. Oh, Get yeah, yourself together. Yes, yes. So, such, such buffoonery. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a piece of shit? How about yeah, that? Uh, yeah. Something you want to see. You know what? What else? What? It doesn't matter. Just pick anything. It really doesn't matter. Um, 
I'm a sham. No, no, the, uh, you're a sham. Yeah, you're a sham. Fuck you, Edgeworth. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your birthday. That is true. What reason could you possibly have to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. How is that a personal attack, Your Honor? What did I say about the man? <laughs> no matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report is <laughs> undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts this evidence. And the autopsy report updated in the court record. All right. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I, oh my. Okay. I, I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Is it though? Darn, this isn't good. Okay, Edgeworth, you don't need to keep bowing. We're not in theater, we're in court. Yeah. That's like, good. seriously, that's get over fine. yourself. Relax. Fine. All right. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the morning. Wow. Saw the morning. Wow. Can I take two on that one? Yes. Let me take two on that We're one. We're not in a hurry. Clack. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me get my throat up. Mm. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. <laughs> Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Do we have hey. time to see what she has to say, or? Uh, you know what? I don't think we do. Pressing buttons. Pressing I buttons. thought we could at least just pressing buttons. Pressing buttons. We want to stop right there. Yeah, we are. Not touching any buttons. Hands are in the air. Hands Just like you don't care. Air. Just like you don't care. Yeah. And we will continue this next time on Button Smash. We'll catch you later. Nurses. Bye.